Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the House of Worship Technology YouTube channel. I'm Matt, and today I've got another episode of Church Tech Tip Tuesday for you. Today what I want to talk about is the four different signal levels that we deal with in the audio world. We've got mic level, instrument level, line level, and speaker level. And it's important for us to know the difference between these level types because you don't want to make an improper connection and end up damaging your gear. I've also been in some situations, some churches that we've done some installs in or done some consults in where gear is just improperly connected and it's creating unnecessary noise or hum that by making the proper connections, you're not going to have to worry about. So let's go through the four different level types that we're going to deal with in live audio. First, we're going to start off with mic level. It's the lowest or the weakest of the four signal types. And when you connect your microphone to the input jack on your mixer, it's going to be looking for a preamplifier to bring that microphone level up to line level, which is what the mixer is going to operate at. The EQ, the, the, the fader, all the way through the mixing board and on to the power amplifiers, that is all line level. And so coming from the microphone, it's weak. It's the preamplifier. You use the trim or the gain knob to bring it up to line level, and then it operates at line level on down through the line. Next, we've got instrument level. Instrument level lives between mic level and line level, and it's still weaker than line level, but it also has a really broad range of, I guess, strength, you might say. Um, you know, you're gonna have acoustic guitars that have a pickup and no built-in preamplifier. You're gonna have, you know, more modern acoustic guitars that are gonna have, you know, a, a multi-pickup system and gonna have a preamplifier where you can adjust the volume and the output. You might have a piano with a pickup built into it and that's gonna still all be instrument level um, coming out of those guitars and going to equipment. The, the input on the front of a guitar amplifier, that's looking for instrument level. However, the input on your mixer um, that might be a quarter inch jack, that's looking for line level typically. And those are two different things. You still need a preamplifier with instrument level so that you can bring it in correctly. Um, so typically what you're gonna do is use a direct box to convert the instrument level signal to uh, an XLR cable and then bring it into the mic jack on the mixing board and then use the gain or the trim to bring it up to line level once that acoustic guitar or maybe piano pickup is inside of your mixer. So third, we have line level. Line level is the strongest signal of the three unamplified signals. Line level is the, the signal level that your mixing board is going to be operating at. It's the level that you're, if you've got outboard gear like compressors or reverb units that you're patching into your mixer, then all of those devices are operating at line level. Now there are two different types of line level that we need to be aware of. There is minus 10 dBV, which is typically found in consumer electronic devices. And then there's plus four DBU, which is typically found in professional level devices. So if you ever look on the back of a piece of equipment and there's a switch between minus 10 and plus four, that's what it's there for. It's there so that it can accommodate both consumer level and professional level pieces of audio equipment. And then finally, we reach speaker level. Speaker level is the output of your power amplifier. Sometimes you'll look on the back of a power amp and you might see a little lightning bolt next to the connection um, or a, some type of power signal. This is definitely the one that you should never take a, uh, you should never take a speaker level signal <laughs> and that cable and go and plug it into something that's looking for mic, instrument, or line level. You're gonna damage your equipment if you do that. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you've got questions about the four signal level types, leave them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. We really appreciate that. And as always, I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>